See, we stay in our business. Right. Our oh, love. My sweetie, my cousin. Your cousin? Ultimate love of Christ for a brother or a sister. Regardless of what he believes in, he has to have the ultimate faith in order to succeed in life for him and his family. There is nothing greater than Christ in his life. Whether you're black, brown, white, whatever, you have to have the ultimate belief in order to continue and succeed for you and your family so that you don't. Proceed in barriers that's gonna stop you from your life and doing what you need to do with what God wants you to do. You understand what I'm saying? No. Nope. You don't? So please explain your perception to me of what your organization is about. I understand. I have a semi understanding, not a complete understanding, right? Hold on. Me, of what? Let me ask you a quick question. Absolutely. Are you a Christian? Yes, sir. Do you believe Christ came for everybody? If Christ came for everybody? I'm no. I'm. I'm at. Yeah. Yes, sir. Christ. Absolutely. Christ came for everybody. For everybody. Are you, Are you prepared to stand on that? Absolutely. All right. You have a Bible in you? No, but we could go through whatever you want to go through, and we could dis we could debate, right? Respectfully, whatever you want to debate, I because ultimately, 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 that. it's about respect. Respecting another person's point of view, yeah. another person's, you know, whatever they perceive to what their belief is, whatever it is, you know, as a human being, right? As a respected human being, you have to respect another human being's perception and point of view of their life, their religion, their family, whatever it is, right? You have to have that. Okay. Because it is. It is. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Where are you from? I'm from wherever I am, bro. It ain't where I'm from, it's where oh, I'm no. at. No, no, this is a legitimate question. Like, forget everybody. I, I'm here. from New York. Are oh, you from New York? Yeah, I'm from What's New York. What's your ethnic background? Puerto Rican. Puerto, all right, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, we, no, we already got the ultimate respect okay, for you. Okay, absolutely. We don't even know you from a can of paint. Absolutely. Now, your point that you're making is that Christ came for everybody. Okay. All right. I, I mean, it don't have to be a debate, but we can have a it's bill. Not a debate, I like it? to call it a bill. We have, right. a, we have, an, bro. We have an intellectual it, discussion. It's, it's love, bro, with, no, it with, with, with the human race, bro. All right, and I'm a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the ball in your court first. Whatever scripture you want first. No, whatever you're going to come at me with, Wait. I'm going to respect that. I'm going to, I want you to, I want you to read to me what is your perception of whatever scripture you read regarding whatever Bible you read from, whether it's from the New Testament, the New English Testament, whatever you're reading from, right? Just let me know so that I can have a... Uh, you want rebuttal it? No, it's not a rebuttal. Then you want to exegete it? No, it's, it's just, I'm going to explain my understanding That's what exegesis is. of whatever you're reading to me in order for me to give you my point of view and then you give me your point of view and as human beings, we respect each other, we understand each other's point of view, right? And if, you know, if I agree with you, you agree with me, Whatever it is, it is love within the human race, bro. Matthew 1 and 21. Okay, speak to that Matthew book. chapter 1 and verse 21. Bring it up. And she shall bring forth a son. Right. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. This is the birth of Jesus. Talk about Mary, right? Yes, sir. Read on. For he shall save his people from their sins. Boy, brother, you got it. What's that mean? Okay. So this, when you read the Bible, right, and you quote scripture, Right? I would like for you to read the entire con context of the scripture, whether it's before, whether it's five verses, before or five verses after, whatever the scripture that you're reading, I would like for you to read that to me in order for me to get a complete understanding. That's all I ask respectfully. That's all I ask. So if you don't mind, if you can read five scriptures before the scriptures that you just read and five scriptures after, Verses, not scriptures, but verses from Matthew. What is this, sir? Matthew, this is Matthew 1 and 21. So the beginning of Matthew goes through the later. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Listen, brother. listen, listen. listen. Okay. I'm giving you a breakdown. Because yes, the, the, when people usually want to get into the context of something, 
we're not going to take anything out of context. It's the historical it's value it's, it's of any literature that you read up, in order for you to get a complete understanding. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Slow down. Okay. Real quick. I, I got you. All right. And you are a brother, so like I said, That's we have a, I have a high level of respect for you. It, it is. It, it is. is. Black, brown, love, bro. It is. You know but what I'm saying? Like, wait, listen. But as the scripture say, yes, let sir. all things be done decently and in order. Right, so when, so now when I say what I say, I'm I just, read that side right. I'm a respect. And it's the book of side right. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. Right. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Watch this. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. So if I, I sat here and let you give your whole spill. And the minute I want to explain this scripture, you already cut me off. I just don't want to do that for the whole time. So I like to lay that foundational piece right now. All right. Let me see this. Matthew 1, first of all, is going to the genealogy of Christ. So it's showing you where he comes from. So it goes all the way back to Adam. So then when we come into this part of the, the, the chapter, the context is already changed because it went from the genealogy to Mary giving birth to Christ. Right. So this is already read in context. We're not taking out context because you go five verses up. Now we're just talking about, oh, and, 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 and Jacob begat so-and-so, and then the 12 tribes, and then down to Jesse and Solomon, and all the way, and ultimately we're just going to end up at Christ at the end of the day. So now where we're at is literally just showing you Mary, the birth of Christ. That's all it is. Try my best, brother. Read that again. It's the book of uh, St. Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. Bring it up. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Go ahead, brother. What's, what's, what's that mean? <laughs> what does it mean that Christ is going to save no, we, we, his people? Okay, so when we speak in about the beginning of the genealogy of Christ, like you said in Matthew, right? To Christ being born, right? If you go to the Old Testament, right? What is the Old Testament referring to when it comes to the scripture that this brother read, right? What, what scripture was that? Could you please repeat that scripture that you read previously, please? That he just read? That he just read, yes sir. Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastic, yes sir. That's irrelevant to the point. Well, actually it's not because the Old Testament is referring to the coming of the Messiah regarding the Israel race, right? I'm not Israel, you're not Israel, but at the end of the day, we're you guys and me, I'm Puerto Rican. My roots come from Africa. We come from the original race of people, you understand what I'm saying? So therefore, when I read the Bible as a Christian, I'm reading it in regards to the historical aspect of the Old Testament, right? Before Christ came, and then when it's called, when when Matthew comes, it is talking about just like you said, the genealogy of Christ, right? Then it talks about Christ's birth to Mary. Unfortunately, for your for your uh, uh, how would I say perception, right? Because I don't want to be disrespectful, bro. This is love. This is this is my point of view, right? This is my point of view is that when Christ came, this is the beginning of Christ regarding the the prophecies of what was coming from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Yes, they have to speak about the genealogy in the beginning because it has to explain where Christ came from and the pro and the previous prophecy that was made in the Old Testament. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, there's no other way. I'm a Christian, I love Christ, bro. I, got you. I so, love people in general, regardless of their beliefs, brother, whatever it is, bro. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. So, let's, two things. One, what he read in Sirach 11.7 has nothing to do with what we read over here. That's just a, a foundational piece of laying the order that we're just not gonna interrupt each other and miss the speech. Okay. So what he said is it completely Nothing to do with what we just talked about. What you just said also has nothing to do with what I just uh, scripture. I asked you, what does this mean? Okay, so, so we understand that Christ being born and coming on the scene is Old Testament prophecy from the beginning, literally from the Torah all the way into the uh, the, the quote unquote minor prophets. We see it talking about the coming of a Messiah. We understand that, but in, in 
congruently with everything that we're saying about who Christ came for, the Old Testament prophecies of Christ coming about was always been uh, the Messiah or deliverer for the nation of Israel. So when we saying that Christ, so it would kind of, so you bringing up the Old Testament prophecies kind of debunks your statement or the point of Christ came for everybody because the Old Testament prophecies along with what we just read and the plethora of scriptures that we have on deck are going to show you that Christ didn't come for everybody, he came for a specific nation of people. Right. I have one question for you, brother. Do you believe in God? Come on, brother. No, I'm just, it's just, do you believe in God? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, who is God to you? He's the most high God. His name's Yahweh. Yahweh, right? Yeah, Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh is a transliteration of the actual word. Okay. Hebrew. We talk about the Hebrew translation, we, we right? Can. The Hebrew translation, right? I mean, the word, the name Yahweh is the Hebrew word. Okay. Yahweh is a transliteration. It is a translation. It is. It is, right? Okay, I'll give you that. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Another question. Wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> what about the scripture? Okay. Could you please visit again? And I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate from my point of view, not as a Christian scholar or anything like that, because I'm not a Christian scholar. That's cool. I, I'm, just, I'm just a normal person, a hardworking oh, construction brothers. worker who oh, believes in God, who believes in, you know, uh, bettering the lives of humanity as a whole, regardless of whatever religion you're in, whatever race you are, whatever, right? Because my brother, who who grew up with me, who is actually my cousin, because his mom adopted me when I was a child, right? Who lives in Florida, okay. is... He's an Israelite. Right. He knows he's an Israelite. He knows... He's an Israelite. Okay, I can show you face, they, Facebook picture, bro. Yeah. He's part of your organization. Yeah, he knows he's we an Israelite. We had many discussions, right? As brothers, as human beings, you know, respectfully. You understand what I'm saying? Just how we having a conversation. Yeah. Oh. There is no animosity no, because this not. is love. You understand? We we're 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 basically spreading knowledge to each other, whether you teaching me or I'm teaching you, whatever. I'm learning from what you're telling me because who knows, I could use this in the future, whatever. Do you understand? Yeah, I, so I, I'm not I'm not discrediting anything. Brother, listen, we didn't I I, I got you. We literally Thank stood you, over here. Thank you. What we talk about. Thank I just want you to explain this first. Okay. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 21. Read it up. Read it up. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Jesus. For Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Mary's going to have a son. In the They're beginning call was the word, name. and the word was God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. Could you, did you got a Bible that I could, that I could, that I could borrow? Absolutely. I appreciate somebody, that. Somebody go on my bag. I appreciate it. Oh, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Now, thank you. now, now, before you open the Bible, do not go to John 1 and 1 and try to use that I am to not. discredit what we're bringing out I right am now. not, brother. I'm not going to John 1 1. Second, please let me let me research because this is as a not a scholar, not a so-called you know everyday Christian, Baptist, Methodist, none of that. This is just my personal life, my point of view as to what you guys are saying, and there's nothing that I'm trying to discredit, nothing that I'm trying to debate, none of that. It's just as a human being, as a Christian. It's from what I've read, not something that I study, not Hebrew, not Amorite, not Greek, none of that. I haven't studied the concordance, none of that, right? This is just something that I would like to share from my point of view as an everyday human being to you guys. 
and hopefully it's... No, uh, brother, ask it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm about... No, you said not John 1-1. One, one. I'm not going to be no, John 1-1. No, no, one. that's cool. I'm not worried about that. I'm saying the brother asked you what, you, what you're looking for. Because no, I'm not looking at... No, I'm, not, I, I'm going to John. I'm going to John. No, that's... That might be able to... We might be able to help you find the verse, brother. I know where the verse is at. What's the... It, it's... it's I'm going to wait. Okay. So, you told me don't go to John 1-1, one, one, right? That's okay, right? Okay. We want to go to John 1, starting at chapter 10. This is just my understanding. I'm not... I'm, like, like I have previously stated, this is not from the sky or anything like that, right? John 1, chapter 10, it says, He is in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. So this is speaking, if you guys read it correctly, it is speaking about Jesus. That he came into the world, right? And his own knew him not, which is regarding the Jewish people. This is from my understanding, not any scholarly uh, studies or anything like that. He, but as many as have received them, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe in his name, which was born not of blood, nor of the flesh, nor of the will of God, but the, the, nor of the will of man, but of God. The word of God was made flesh, which is regarding Jesus Christ and dwell among us and we beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten son, father full of grace and truth right so when you're speaking about God in particular and about the verse that this gentleman read which I respect because this is holy scripture you understand I respect holy scripture whether it is from another religion or not because everybody that believes and thank God, regardless of what religion it is, you have to respect it because they believe it's holy. So you have to understand that you have to respect that it's holy for them. It might not be holy for you because you believe in something different. You have a different understanding, whether it's the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, the, the uh, what did you call the, the, the Buddhist, the, whatever it is, right? You have to have an understanding and a respect for that if you believe is holy, I must respect the fact that you believe is holy. I might not believe it's holy, and I might not believe that whatever you read, right? I understand, but Wait. there's a lot of people that Wait. misconstrue the scripture and move it in a way that they want other people to believe that Wait. don't really understand. Wait. Wait. Okay. When Two things. Who's, we, who's is this? This yours, brother? No, you know, hold on. You, hold you, on. You, okay, you, yeah, yeah. Thank you, you brother. I appreciate need it. That. I appreciate you might need it. That. But, I love you guys, bro. I, lo I love you guys, bro. I really we, do. We, we got you, brother, but I, I listen, really do, bro. But listen. Yes, sir. Go back to Matthew 121. So, okay, so there's another scripture for you to back up Matthew 121. Is, the, is there another scripture? I don't know, because you keep, you continuously keep reciting the same I'm, I'm, scripture. Yo, we're reading the same scripture. I just, I just want something we're, to we're back that up. We're waiting for you to explain it. No, it's not It's not the point for me to explain it. It's the point for... Wait, this, we can't have a, a discussion to build if you can't explain okay, a so, simple scripture. Because you said, you said, and listen, it's on camera, and I have a, a bunch of witnesses. When you first came up, you explained your whole story, and then you said, we can debate or whatever, and I said, I said, what do you want to debate? Absolutely. You said... Sure, you, why I, not? said do you want to debate okay who christ came for you said yeah okay so the Absolutely. first scripture i gave you was matthew 1 21 okay. right. it says that christ was born with came into the world to save his people his people okay so and then and then and then i read your I scripture i read your scripture where it literally says that his people did not accept him what does that mean that the jewish people did not accept christ as the messiah so what did that what did christ do as as the savior of the world, hold right? On, hold on, brother. You about to, you about to? No, I am. On the list. I am not. I am I know not. Exactly where you're going. You I am not. You know where I'm going okay. because okay. my whole thing is you. You continuously keep reciting the same scripture over and over, and all I'm asking is for you to 
right. to back that up with other scripture from whatever from the Bible that you're reading, brother, right? Brother, listen, listen. Remember, remember. All right, so listen. This is on no boasting, no bragging, nothing okay. like that. The you the one thing you keep saying is not from a scholarly standpoint that I study or anything. You're listen. You're looking at a one, two, three, four, I'm, five. Six, I'm reading seven, from eight, a, nine. You're looking at ten, ten to twelve people okay. that actually do study. Okay. Daily. I love that. So listen, it's not that we don't have another scripture. We're literally just giving you something extremely basic to yeah. break down right. before right. we go okay. into 10, 12 more right. scriptures. I would love for you to break down 10, 12 more scriptures no. explaining this scripture that you're reading. I would Somebody love that. Ma I would Matthew. love it. Go Matthew yes. 15, I would love it so that I, go to so that I could, I, go as to a Act. human being, that I could learn something. Verse number twice. Go to verse number I, I would love to learn something. I mean, got you, brother, but you have to, you got to, like what we said earlier, you still got that in, uh, you still got second address pulled up. Second Ezra 14 and 34. I want you to read this. The book of Second Ezra 13. 14 and 34. 14 verses 34. Right? Therefore, if so be that, will subdue your Just own understanding. Can you read that? Read yeah. that? Okay. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 14 and verse 34. Right? Up. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue. Your own, it's like your own understanding. If you will subdue your own understanding, what you know, if you can control that and, and, and humble down for one second, read on. And reform your heart. And do what? And reform, reform your, your heart. Read on. Ye shall be kept alive. Now, real quick, well, that's, that can sound crazy. Right. Because if you got to, you just got to subdue your own understanding for a second and listen to what we're about to explain rather than try to esteem what you know over what we're trying to explain to you. Right. Let me ask you a question. Hold on. What is your own understanding in regards to the actual reference as to understanding, your own understanding, regardless of what it is religion or common sense, right? Your own understanding. What what do you what do you see that to be? What? Yeah. <laughs> I know what? We our own understanding about what exactly? Okay. Your own understanding when it says about the Bible? No. Or about the verse? Because when when you when you come into when you're reading holy scripture, yep. right? Yep. Whatever religion you're in, right. everybody sees their religion as holy scripture, right. right? Right. When it comes to your own understanding, okay. you don't read as your own understanding. You try to perceive or understand. What God wants you to understand. Now, how do we how do we gain that understanding? Prayer. Prayer. You pray for understanding. You pray for knowledge. You pray for wisdom, right? In order for you to understand what uh, what it is that God wants you to learn and, then, and the path uh, that do, God wants uh, you to go through. 20, you know what I'm. You know Isaiah 20. Hold on. I got you. Absolutely, brother. Prayer is part of it. Prayer is, is the. Is it's the, the only thing. Don't. No, it's not the only thing because this. Whether you're reading any scripture that you're reading, right? Regardless, whatever version it is, right? It is God's path for you. This is this right here is the guideline for you to live a a righteous, a righteous lifestyle. Life. I got you. Now, listen. Not I'm, a holy I got, lifestyle. I, wait, I, got, I got a simple question though. Okay. So you pray, you read. Absolutely. So when you read and prayed after you read Matthew the first chapter, what okay, can I what, to what you? understanding did you receive about verse twenty one? Can I explain something to you? After you answer this question. Okay. No. At the age of 17. I, no, 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 let me explain something to you. You can't the, just bypass no, my No, 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 let me explain. You I'm can't a, I, just bypass okay, my question okay. just to explain your life okay. since you were 17. Okay, so so, re, so stay that again so I can get a better When you, you said that it, when you get to get the proper interpretation, let's okay. just put it in plain words, to get the proper interpretation of the scriptures, you have to pray and read. You pray and read. So when you read and you read Matthew 1 and 21 and you have already prayed, what was your understanding on Matthew 1 and 21 where it says that Christ is coming to save his, his people, people from their sins? Okay. So when it speaks, so when you go to John 3, 16, it says, For God's love the yeah. world, his only begotten son, yep. that whoever should believe in him should yep. not perish yes. but have everlasting life, right? right? Yes. When it's talking about the entire world, it's not, it's not, it's not explaining a specific person, a specific race, a specific religion. It is talking about the entire world as a whole, right? This is my understanding, right? So when no. I, so this is my interpretation. When he say his people, it is the entire world. It is not the Jewish people. It is not the uh, 
the Italian people who, you know, the, the who, who crucified him, none of that, right? It is speaking about the entire world. So when I explain, when I, when you explain, when when I when I tell you, when you stop me from explaining my my belief in God, why I came to God, when I was at the age of 17, I got arrested. <laughs> For murder, at the age of 17. For no, let me explain to you, right? For murder. I went to prison at the age of 17 that certified me as an adult. Unconstitutionally, bro, it is unfair to give a child a prison sentence to go to prison, right? For life. I was supposed to die in prison, bro. Right? When I was in prison, I was like, you know what? Let me start reading scripture. Let me see what this is all about. Let me read what people's talking about, right? I started reading the scripture. Here you go, brother. This is yours, bro. I started reading the scripture, right? And as I started reading the scripture, I started getting a better understanding of where my life was at and where I needed to go. And I started believing, bro, that I could be whatever God wanted me to be, bro. And I started going, I started, I started, I started researching more. We would love to sit here and learn about how you came to Jesus, come to Jesus. I understand what you're saying, bro. But we but have, this is, this we is have. My, this is my part of my belief. This, all this praises, is brother, Christ. because I can sit here and talk about all the, the you way I came to this. Huh? You believe in Christ? Yeah. Okay, I mean, so I'm literally point. out here okay, with so, these brothers okay, to so, teach so, about God and Christ. Okay. So what we're trying to, we're still waiting for you to answer Matthew one and twenty four. I just right. did. No, you didn't. Somebody read Matthew fifteen and twenty four. Let's just put. Let's just make. Let's make it. Let's make it. Let's make it. No, listen. Bro, listen, I, got, I got two I mean, no, hours traveling to go on. Well, I, I literally went to New York to do my job and came out here, bro. I got you, brother. Bro. And the I Lord said, got, the Lord said, the, the, the Lord said, man's going to the Lord. Actually, and now look, you pulled up. You, bro, you, you I, said you said I love talking to you guys, bro, because you guys. Are, are, are making the world a better place. But listen, you guys, you guys listen, are, are, listen, are giving people knowledge. Listen, brother, you guys are teaching people. Brother, listen. But not, you gotta understand. Under, you don't even understand what we're doing. I have my own beliefs, but and, and but I'm, I'm respecting. I'm respecting your Proverbs beliefs, 14, your teachings. You understand what I'm saying? I'm respecting all of that because, as a person of God, you have to respect another person's point of view. No, regardless can, of where they come under, from. No, I can understand. And respect your point of view, but that doesn't make it correct. Okay. So now you're saying right. that's, that's, you're, that's, listen, that's, listen, that's listen, 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 because you're saying Christ came for everybody, but when we brought out one verse that said that Christ came to save his people, there was no explanation. It was. There was not. Read Matthew 15 and somebody go verse 24. This is book of Matthew Explain. chapter 15, verses 24. Bring it up. Let, let him get there. Because I, I need I need I need you to explain. More. You got faith? This is on Facebook? Is this, this live? No, we're not live. Okay. Wish we was though. But forget Matthew 1 to 21. Not like that. But now we're going back to Matthew. 1. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna be honest. No, sir. Because this is the this is the scripture that that is being uh misunderstood either by me or how you're explaining but it. But listen. But ultimately, I want to get a better understanding of how you you believe Matthew 121 is because that way if I'm misunderstanding it and you can explain it to me in a way that it is better for me and my life and my belief bro brother, every and time glory I, to God you understand what I'm saying every time every, every time like I, glory bro every time I sit here try to explain Matthew 121 we end up in left field let's do it. let me let me let me let me explain let me let me give the precept okay so because the same way you said hey, if, if you I don't can, mind, right if you said if can, I can we finish this within the next five or six minutes I do have it I have I, clock, I'm taking a train so to Delaware all right cool you know what now saying? listen we I came from New York all right, all right I got you now now remember we were earlier if you if if I can get my whole if I can get my whole spill you can take it back if I if I can give my whole spill okay without being cut off that would be lovely my word all right all right remember your word is the only thing a man really got in this world absolutely. unless you got the most high absolutely read this in matthew 15. this Ma goes this is parallel what we just read in matthew 1 and 21. matthew 15 verses 24. right up but he answered and said matter of fact start up like start at verse 13. 13? yeah oh no my bad damn 21. i went way too far start at verse 21 yeah verse 21 yeah then jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Since Christ came for everybody, this 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 is gonna blow your mind. Read on. And behold, a woman of Canaan, a woman of who? A, a woman, woman of Canaan, Canaan Read on. came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, "Have mercy on me, O Lord." Is is a woman from Canaan an Israelite? 
Okay, so is a Puerto Rican living in America a Puerto Rican? Come on, brother, you scoffing. You scoffing. Is a woman of Canaan a woman of Israel? If she travels, if a person travels from one country to another, do they lose their do they lose their culture? Do they lose their heritage? Do they lose who they are as a race? If if I'm Puerto Rican and, and you live and in America, if you if you're if you're a Puerto, Puerto if you're a Puerto Rican, Rican, you come to America, I'm then still you're still Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. So exactly. if a woman of Canaan is in the land of Israel, she's, she's still a Canaanite. Okay, so so what? If no, 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 no. You didn't hear what I said. Okay. If a woman of Canaan is in Israel, she's still a Canaanite. All right. So this is a woman of Canaan. Is she of Israel? Okay. No, no, no. I'm asking. Is she an Israelite? If she's married to an Israelite, oh, she becomes an Israelite. How does that work? Can I marry Chinese woman and be Chinese? No. So then how can I be a Canaan okay, woman? Okay, so let me ask you a question. And who said that she was married to an Israelite? So let's say you are an American citizen, right? Brother, you, you, you. No, this, we, 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 we go on that. If you're an American and you marry a Chinese woman, does she become an American? Yes or no? Say that again? If, you, if you're an American citizen and you marry a Chinese woman from China and you bring her to America, yeah. And you legally married yeah. according to law. Yeah. Is she an American? She's an American by citizen. So, I, so you're citizen, African American. Citizen. I'm Hispanic American. Right or wrong? No, we're I mean, not. I'm according to we're not. the law we're not. of this we're country. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're so not. We, we have, he literally said if a person that is an American citizen marries a woman that's from China, she can. She's still Chinese. She's that's, still Chinese that's, culturally. That's living right? in America, because her citizenship is in America. So if this woman is a Canaanite by nationality and just happens to be in the land of Israel, right. she is not an Israelite by that nationality. Right. She is still a Canaanite. Read on. Oh yeah. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O me, oh me, oh Lord. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Right? My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. This is a woman that's not an Israelite, a Canaanite by nationality. When you read it in Mark, it tells you that she's a Syrophoenician by nation. What so chapter? What, what, this what? is Matthew, the 15th chapter, okay. which is starting at verse number 20. Right. Keep reading. But he answered her not a word. He he what? But he answered, answered her, her not, not a word. word. Christ didn't even answer. This is Christ. He didn't even answer. Why? Read it. Watch, watch. It's gonna it's, it's gonna sway itself. But he answered her not a word. Right? And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. Right? For she cried after so us. So not only did Christ ignore her, but the disciples of Christ pulled up on him and said, Yo, get her out of here. Okay. She keeps crying after us. Watch, read on. But he answered and said, He said he's gonna now he's speaking to her. He answered and said, What? I am not sent. What did Christ say? I, I am, am not sent. sent. But what? But, but unto, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Of Israel. What's that mean? Okay, could you please read, keep reading? Then hold on. That's the point. I, Listen, hold I don't on. understand what you're saying. You but, can't get past this point. Right, but I, I, I You want to read it, you want to continue. The lost, it, the lost sheep, right? Christ said out of his own mouth, I am okay. not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I understand what you're saying, but I would like for you to continue reading because. How, how many verses down? What are, seven verses. Seven verses. For completion. Go ahead. Hey, hey, hey brother, finish the point. brother, real quick, brother. Tell Just so you know, earlier. You said for uh, if we read a verse, we had to read five verses up. The bro you didn't say go down. You okay. said go up. So the brother started, I said either up or down. So okay, well, that, right? okay, well, the brother started up earlier. Right. He wanted to go to, he okay. wanted to start at 4 so I, I did say up or down. Okay, I got you. Real quick. Because it's there, there's a historical context. Can I finish, brother? Yes, sir. So we read up to give you that historical context. The historical context is that the Lord is sending this woman away. Or the disciples are asking the Lord to send this woman away, who's a woman of Canaan. The point of the matter is, it's 24. You have to break that down, brother. Break that verse. No, I just, I just, I just want to understand. I want to get a better understanding of the entire concept of what of what is being read. But listen, that's what that's why that's why I would when we, when somebody gives me a verse to read, whether it's pastor that whatever whatever uh, church I'm going to, if they read a verse, I always. Read either five verses up or five verses but down. But listen, so, listen, I get so the you whole can get the whole context. So I can get the context. Because the, the word oh, context okay. literally just means which to weave together. Right. So it has to go with the text. Okay. The context, so every time you read in the scripture, depending on the Bible that you have, when you see the paragraph sign yeah. that's next to the verse, it means the context is generally changing. Yeah. So we're reading it in context to the T. Okay. So yeah. now you said either start up or down. How we start four verses up? Four verses up, but you want us to go seven verses past. Is that fair? Sir? 
Hold on, give me one second real quick. I got, I got something here. I'm out of respect you, brother. Give me Matthew 22 and 29. And somebody go to uh, Hebrews 4 and go to 5 and go to verse number 12. I got Romans 9. I got St. Matthew 22. Yeah, uh, yeah, right now. And it's the same Matthew, chapter 22 and verse 29. Right you know? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Ye do err. The Lord said, Ye do err. Not what? Not, Not knowing the scriptures. scriptures. So, brother, listen, we, we, you are brother. We love you because you are brother. We understand your perception, your point. We, a lot of us used to be there. But you gotta go back. I don't wanna say you gotta go back to the lab or something. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah, read that from Hebrews 5 and 12. Hebrews 5 and 12. Hebrews 5 and 12. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 5. Slucky. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 5 and verse number 12. And it reads, it says, For when the time ye ought to be teachers, right. ye have need that one teach you again. Read that part again. Ye have need that one teach, teach you again. again. You know Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And the first principles of oracles of God is the milk. That's the law. That's the basics. That's the foundations. Brother, you have to go establish yourself on a foundation before you can try to build and come out and try to have a dialogue, a build, a debate, a discussion with a brother, with brothers that actually have some type of knowledge on the topic at hand. You can't. I'm not going to go try and, and debate with a scientist about the, a, a, a chemist about the about. No, nah, no, nah, you can't do that. You got to pour this with that. Right. That's not my. That's I not. That's never, not where I I'm would at. Never, I would never do that. But no, it's, 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 I know. I've never studied. No, you. You understand. It's, it's the parallel in the analogy I'm trying to make okay. that I wouldn't put myself in a situation where I think I know something, but I think I know more than a person that is actually does that for a living. Right. Versus coming out and trying to challenge brothers that actually do this for a living when you have an, no offense but an elementary school level right. I, don't, I don't do this as a living bro I don't, I don't well, that's how I, I do this as for goes life. Out. Right. I don't do this for a living bro there's a difference between make, doing Isn't something my for life living my living and doing something for life is that I'm doing this for the that's betterment of me. That's what a living is. The, no, it's not. <laughs> a living is making money for something. Right? Wait, wait, it's wait. Like, wait. It's to me. We're doing me, this to live. For me, bro, it's a difference, bro, because I come from... I come from... Are you about to give us your backstory, how you came to Christ because no, you was in jail? No, you supposed to do life. No, no, I'm not even going to do that. I come from a situation where I put myself in where I stopped God's blessing in order for me to move forward in my life as a child, you know, as a teenager. But when I became adult and I got a better understanding of what life was about, what God was about, you know, to my understanding, not to anybody else's understanding, because everybody has his own understanding. Because ultimately, what, what your faith might be stronger than his, this brother's faith. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everybody has a different level of faith and belief in their life. So can everybody's belief What's two plus two? Two plus two? No, 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 no. And, and no, no, the no, common no, no, sense no, no, no. of the world is four. It's four. It's four. It's four. <laughs> two plus two. And the common sense two of the world is, is four. Wait, and what? Two plus two in the common sense is, is four. So in, in the uncommon sense of the world, what is, is, is whatever that person believes two plus two is. That's, that's a problem because they're that's, that's, That is the problem because ultimately I believe two plus two is four because that's what I was taught. But listen, that's what I was taught. But when you, but when you, when you learned that in elementary school, you had to do the math. Absolutely. So when you did two plus two. It's four. Absolutely. So, but you had the facts in front of you. Right. So then how can, so if I'm reading the Bible and I'm with facts, but you're in the uncommon sense of the world thinking something else, how does that, how does that trump what our thought process of belief is? Because you're reading, a single verse to I'm me. This, I'm okay, you bring it. You you continuously continue reading a single verse to me without any other facts to back that one verse up. If if a Christian knows Maybe get that there. verses collaborate with each other, I could t if you give me a verse, I could give you another verse to back that up. If if I give you a verse, if I if I tell you, you know whether whether it's John or whatever, right? If I as a Christian, if you continue, because I don't continuously read the Bible, I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm, I'm not a so-called holy role, none of that, bro. Like I drink, I, you know, I do all that, right? I'm not, I'm not the perfect person. Oh, wait, I'm not the perfect person, right? Are you, did you, 
We should drink it tonight or today? No. You wasn't drinking tonight? No. Alright. Yeah, bro, I'm just tired because no, I woke no, up no, at 3 o'clock no, in the morning not to go to New York. I'm just asking for the set. No, 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 no. I, no, I would never, I would never, I would never, I would never talk about God. And, and, and Why are you intoxicated? I got exactly you. Listen, because listen. that's disrespectful. But listen, you understand what I'm saying? But listen, you can't sit here and say you don't read the Bible continuously in X, Y, Z. I don't. But then just have a discussion with brothers that do and think you know more than what they I, know. I'm not. Okay, so I've learned you this I would, I would never do that. I would never put myself in a situation to make anybody feel like what they do is less than whatever, right? Because, bro, I respect people and I honor people that study. That read the word, that do what they do, bro. It's like, okay, so then why when we give you the un when we show you that your understanding is flawed, and then we bring a plethora of precepts to back it up, how do you how do you how do you rectify that? Because my belief in God, bro. What I read is I have backup to the stuff that I read. Now, if if I continuously keep getting one verse and nothing is getting backed up with that one verse. I Wait, can't, I can't, I can't get a better understanding. Brother, we literally sat here okay, and so pulled a couple verses. We didn't even get in to the gospel. We didn't even, we didn't, 16, one, it was 121 and, one, and, and 121, Matthew right? 15, 15. So, Wait, but I, I, even, just, I just want Matthew 121 backed up. We just read it with Matthew 15 and 24. In American. So Matthew. Is Matthew 15 and 24 literally said he only came for the lost without Israel. Okay. We haven't even got to go to the other scriptures okay. that brothers have. Okay. So you're trying to listen, prove, brother, but you I love you guys. I, I, listen, I have this nothing to do with Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. Bring it up. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. That's your belief. You think this is this is what I believe and this is what I got. But we're trying to show you that what you huh? which we're trying to show you that what you believe. Is not what the Bible is saying. That's the point. It says there's a way that seemeth. Hold on, brothers, relax real quick. Relax, okay. It says there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but what? But the end thereof are the ways of death. So the, what you believe can end up. What you believe and have faith in can end up killing you at the end of the day. And listen, if you was if you was down, I mean, I can't say that, but because if you was Chinese and you was down with Buddha or Shiva or whatever. That, that's irrelevant to the point. Us, that the fact that we know that you're our brother and you're on this chart and you're really an Israelite, not right. a Puerto Rican, and we are the Hebrews, we are the Israelites, we are the Jews, we have to show you these things. You believe in what you believe in, which and we both believe in the same book and the same God and the same Christ, unless you believe that's Christ, then it's different. But if we believe in the same God and the same Christ and the same book, then you can't sit here and say that what you believe is the truth, but we have, we're reading the same book and backing it up with other scriptures to show you that what you believe is not true and this is actual truth. Word. That doesn't make sense. That's why I said, what's two plus two? We can't both have the same book and you be right, your belief be right, and my belief be right. That doesn't make any sense. So, did you hear what I just said? I heard what you said. I respect did it. Did it make sense? Yes, sir. It is a person's perception of how they talk, how they was raised, how they grew up, right? Regardless how, what, church they grew up in what's the relevancy to what i just it, said it is because you you're saying that it is a person's belief right that what you what, what you just said was what uh that i'm a judicial like i understand what you're saying bro like i would love to continue this and bro trust me bro i have to be at work tomorrow i have to be in new york who you tell but at the end of the day this is my belief and my belief in god as a whole, because God is all powerful for all people, God is terrible. regardless, right? Hold on, slow down. So, so therefore, down. therefore, therefore, my belief in God as the savior of the world so that human beings can have a better life for themselves, their families, their futures, whether it's work, whether it's friendship, whatever, right? That is my belief. And my beliefs will not falter, brother. That's, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Remember, remember I love doing. you guys, bro. I love what you're doing, bro. Remember, Trust me, bro. But, 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 you, but I, I, the point I'm is, not. But we, read, we literally read this bro, earlier listen, bro. in Second Ezra that said if you were to do your own understanding, I literally, I literally spent more time than I needed to be here because of the fact that my brother, you know, my, what's my cousin, my cousin, my cousin is for. My cousin is literally, bro. I, brother, from kissing we, me flow, we, bro. We got, he, that's 
all, all bro, praises bro. that that brother is in the truth bro. and that's somebody that should that. probably listen to bro. a little bit more now, because the truth is the truth and I we're sitting here trying to show many you many respects bro many now, blessings bro, now, for you and your family give me bro. one give me give many, me one second give me one second brother had a question I have a question for you come right back you said you believe that you respect all people's beliefs absolutely absolutely you have a son no, I don't have any children whatsoever. You have any family members? Yes, sir. That you hold dear to yourself? Sure. And you love? Sure, bro. Now, if those family members, real quick, you gotta listen to, yeah, brother. Absolutely. If those family members said, I believe I could smoke crack and get high and kill myself, would you respect that? I would respect their opinion, but I would do everything I can to so help So you just contradicted yourself? No, I would do everything you're I can. being a hypocrite. I, I would do everything to help them to get So what is his, his brother doing right now? He is, he is expressing his belief. He's doing everything to get you off of the right. delusion that you're in, brother. He's expressing his belief. Yeah, yeah. Right? See, right. brother, I'm going to be honest with you. And, and, I, and I'm going to respect him. You contradicted yourself. You won't respect yeah, that. I won't respect that. Gotcha. You respect those smoking crack? No, I, I, would, I would not be. Okay, so See if that? a person smokes crack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, job sure. as they family is to get them off crack, right? So, so therefore, that, not. I'm not going to respect that, bro. Because that? Ulti ultimately, so you don't be because ultimately, us. it is killing their life. But that, that's what they that's believe. It's a difference. But, 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 but you're trying. But you're, you're, that's you're, what they believe, though. But, you're, but you're, is a difference because you're trying to give people who don't have life, don't have the the vision of God, right? You're trying to give them a vision, right? A step in order for them to move. And, and the way where? God wants them to move, right? What, what the hell? But, but, exactly. Yeah. But exactly. Right. We're trying to take people. Wow. We're trying to take our people and give them the right. direction right. But, that they but, that God. But you me, I have it. I have a direction that God already gave me. But my brother, we, what do we just love you? I know that. It said that there's I know a way that seems right unto a man, that, but the but words there are we, we have we have we have the same direction. We no, just we have don't. a different way to go in there. No, we don't. You know no, we mean? don't. The Lord okay. said it's either the wide gate or the straight gate. Right. right. And, and you're on the path of the wide I'm, gate. I'm, 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 bro, if, if you look, if you was to know my life, bro, brother, you, you sat know, here and told us your life. You, you would know I'm going through the straight gate, bro. You will know. How you enter in the straight gate? Bro, I literally. Hold on. How did Christ say you enter the straight okay, gate? Okay, so let me. Let me I spent 27 no, years. No, my, no, 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 no. We I spent 27 this, years in my life this. in jail. No, you haven't, bro. Because I spent 27 years of my life in jail, bro. I came to Christ and I. I didn't believe, bro. But when I came out, right? Listen, when I came out and I was going through the headaches, bro. I. Bro, I, from the age of 27 to the age of 43, I spent in prison my entire life, bro. Everything that you're supposed to learn as a man, bro, to raise your family, to raise your neighbor, your, right. your neighborhood, bro. Right. I spent in prison. Right. All I knew, bro, right. was to be a crook, right. to, to to be grimy, right. to 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 manipulate, right. to do all of that. Right. But when I came out here. It was different right. because the world didn't treat me as prison treated me. You yeah, understand what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. So when I started reading and I started getting a better understanding uh, of the Bible. Right, to to me, my understanding, not God's understanding, not your understanding, not anybody's understanding. Wait a what, second. what God wanted me, what I was reading. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Okay. We we not gonna bypass that like you didn't just say okay. that. Okay. You said not God's not understanding. Not God's because to me Why would you not read God's word and want his understanding? Okay, be, because when I first came home You're bro, about to you're about to no, justify no, 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 what you no, just no. said. Because when I first came home, bro, it was all about me. It was self. It was self. And it must still be because no, it was you self will. You God's word no, it was self will. Thing. Right, but I came home five years ago. It was self will, self understanding. It was me. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to do everything on my own because I had this understanding that okay, any issues that came my way, I could fix it on my own. I didn't need anybody. I didn't need God. Uh -huh. I didn't need help from my mother, my brothers, nobody. You understand? Because it was a self pride. But then I came to understand that when that self, you can't be successful and be I mean, saved with pride because pride will lead you to destruction. Absolutely. You understand? Okay. So therefore, when I realized that, then I got to start to get, okay, so now God's will and God's understanding started coming towards me. Okay. You understand? Yep. And then my life started to change. I started, okay, I can't drink. Why well, I can't drink? Because it is. I can't be around. Bro, It's I have three brothers that I don't, be around because they're destructive to the lifestyle that I'm trying to achieve. You understand? I'm trying to live a peaceful life. I'm not trying to go to prison. I want, I'm trying to be, you know, a good, as good of a person that God wants me to be, be as to my own, to my understanding as to what God wants me to be. Because ultimately, no human being can have God's understanding because God is so powerful. Like, there's no 
way that a human being can understand God, understand God's power, none of that, right? But we can get bits and pieces of it, bro, and that little, those little bits and pieces yeah. can move us right. I got to you. places hey, hey, brother. that we need to go as okay, human brother. beings, as better that human is beings. Nothing to do with what I asked okay. you, brother. Okay. That's the problem, Honestly, brother. Everybody I, can see the gold. God bless you, brother. God, God bless you, bro. I, I love you. Hold I, on, that, I really brother. have to go, bro. I got you. I really have to go. But bro. when you want to debate it, everything was cool. I really have to go, bro. Hold on, this brother got first. Okay. And it's the book of Saint John, chapter eleven, and verse forty-seven. Bring it you know, then gathered the chief priests and the, the Pharisees a council and said, "What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. Right. If we let him thus alone." All men will believe on him. Right. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Right. And one of them named Caiaphas, right. being the high priest that same year, uh -oh. said unto them, right. Ye know nothing at all. What the Lord say, Ye, Ye know, know nothing, nothing at all. all. Nor consider that it is expedient. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I want you to really listen on this one. Listen in on this one. Nor consider that it is expedient for us that, that one man should die. For the people, for the, who? For for the, the people, people and that the whole nation perish not. Right. And then spake he, not of himself, but being a high priest that, that year, uh -huh. he prophesied, what? He, he prophesied, prophesied that, what? that Jesus should die for that nation. For that who? For, for that, that nation. For that nation, read. And not for that nation only. And not just the Jews that were in Israel, but what? But that also he said, gather together in one. He's going to gather in one to what? The children of God. Who the Israelites that were what? That were scattered abroad. See that? So, okay, wait, 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 like wait, 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 wait. Let the brother explain it. Wait, just, go ahead. Right. Now, who was the people that's, uh, who was the children of God that scattered abroad? For God so loved the world that he gave us all. Oh my God. God. That you up to believe him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you so much. Wait, wait, wait. wait don't Listen, I got to go, bro. Don't I really do it. Hold on. Bro, you I got two arms. You, you can't do it. You can't do it. I, I got two arms. But you can't do it. Mike drop on John 316 like not, that. Like that. I'm that. not. But ultimately, this is my belief. Wait, he asked you. I'm not going to change my belief. You're not going to change your belief. You're not going to change your belief. We respectfully discuss this, and I love it. But listen, listen, I love it listen, because listen, we wasn't, gonna, we, nobody listen, was disrespectful. Listen, he asked, you, he asked you a question because we I have the God. answer. Who was, it, who was the children of God that was standing abroad? The children of God was ultimately the Gentiles, all of them. Not, we're not just discussing now, now, now. the Israelites. Because the Bible literally right, says, for God so loved the world. Bro, John 16, bro. Brother, brother. Okay. Read this. Hold on. James, listen, it is listen. the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. James, a servant of God. And of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes. To the who? To, to the, the twelve tribes. tribes which are scattered abroad. Read. Greeting. So he's talking to the Israelites that are scattered. That's why he said the children okay, of God. Okay, so he's trying to count. Wait, you trying to, you're no, trying to combine no, two different no, scriptures. No, no, Yo, the scriptures say, through thy precepts well, I, I get, get understanding. understanding. Okay. Therefore, I hate every false way. No, so you every have to go false way. You right? even said earlier that oh, you have to gosh. you take a compilation of precepts right. from here and there, put them together, right. so it makes sense. We're literally doing the same things. Right. Now you're trying to. No. Now you're trying to. Because those, trying to those, those two verses, those two verses. Don't go together. Now you're saying you're trying to take scriptures. No, listen. We're almost literally. You got John 3:16. No, John 3:16. We ain't hear John 3:16 in years. Right? Do you know why? Because, because a lot of people because don't. Because that's the Old Testament. Because the ultimate scripture that you have to believe in. How's that? That's the only scripture you got to believe in. No, sir. So when Christ said that He said, "Believe on Him, believe on Him, and believe on Him." Right. 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 When it says in when it says in Revelation 14 and 12, here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the faith in Christ and keep the commandments. Am I not supposed to believe in that? Well, see, that's the problem. Hold on, 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 so you gotta hold, you gotta okay, wait for the okay, context. Okay. Uh -huh. Five minutes. I read it. I, I got five minutes. I, I, I was spare five minutes. I was spare five minutes. You, you I was spare five minutes. Listen, you said you, Listen, I give you, you my word. You, I was spare. You talk, I was spare five minutes. You talked about context. Listen, earlier. I was spare five minutes. Listen, because I love this. I got you. I got you, brother. Don't love worry love about. It. Don't worry about them in the back. I know. I love you. You brought up John three sixteen, and you brought up context. Now you're reading John three sixteen. Without context, I'm reciting something that you're exactly you're that, reciting that, that something coming from from from, from my what belief. from what you were taught from what I was taught exactly that, that, okay cool exactly. now Everybody's now we're gonna show you 
that what you were taught okay. is wrong. Right. And okay. we're going to use the context of John 3, 16 properly to show you okay. that it's not talking about Love what you him. think it's talking Love about. Love to hear it. Bring it up. And it's the book of John, chapter 3, and verse 1. Bring it up. There was a man of the Pharisees. Name Nicodemus. Which, who, who are, what, what nationality are the Pharisees? Like what nation they come from? If you know, are they Romans? Are they Pharisees? The Pharisees are Greeks. If I remember correctly. Pharisees are Jews. We don't. They, are, they, are, they, are they just the scholars, right? They're, the, they're, the, they're, those that, they're those that taught the law, which the law, would be okay. in the place no, of the Levites. Which would be in the place of the Levites. Right. Right. I give you that. You're right. A, you're man, right. a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, right. a ruler of the Jews. A what? A, a ruler, ruler of the, the Jews. Jews. You know? The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. So now Caiaphas, who is a Jew, and Christ, who is a Jew, are having a conversation in the middle of, I'm sorry, Nicodemus. Nick, my bad, Ka Nick, I say Caiaphas. Yeah. Nicodemus, who is a Jew, they're having a conversation in the middle of the night. So it's two Jews having a conversation. Go ahead. Jump, I'm gonna jump to verse nine. nine. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, how can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, right. and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. Right. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not. Right. Every time he gets right here. How shall ye believe if I tell you earthly things? Right. 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 How shall ye believe, How shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Right. And no man had ascended up to heaven. Right. But he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Right. And as Moses lifted up the serpent. And now, 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 now. Here's, here's context. Let's get context because of what he's talking about. He said, as Moses lifted up the serpent. Right? Give me that in Numbers, Baba Kishan. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 21 and verse 8. Bring it up. And the Lord said unto Moses, make thee a fiery serpent. Now, this is when the Israelites were in the, were in the wilderness. Right? It's the book of Numbers. He said, what it, read that again. And the, Mo and the Lord said unto Moses, <clears throat> Make thee a fiery serpent. Make thee a fiery serpent and do what? And set it upon a pole. Right. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Shall what? Shall, shall live. live. So this is what Christ is referencing is something that happened when the nation of Israel was in the wilderness with Moses when he took the serpent and he put it upon the brass pole and he and everybody that was bitten of it lived. Right. Right? Read this, read that from the top of the verse. And this is St. John chapter 3 and verse 14. Right. And as Moses lifted up the serpent right. in the wilderness. The same way Moses lifted up that serpent, put it on the pole, and everyone that was bit lived, so what? Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. The Son of Man represents that serpent that was lifted up, and everyone that came to that serpent lived that they were bit by it. Now watch, read on. That whosoever believeth in him. Now whoever whosoever shall believe on him should not perish. Right. But have eternal life. Now who was in the wilderness with Moses that looked upon the serpent and they were bit, they lived? Like I said, I wasn't spotted, so I can't read really the we, we just told you. Who was in the, who, everybody knows who was in the wilderness right. with Moses. It wasn't everybody. Right. It was the nation of Israel. It was the Israel. Right. So the same way that serpent was, was lifted up, Christ has to be lifted up. So those that believe on him shall what? Shall live. Read. Right. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, right. that whosoever believeth in him right. should not perish, right. but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that, what? that he gave his only begotten Son, that and whosoever, whosoever believeth in him should, should not perish, perish but have perish. everlasting life. Now, the point that you're going to everybody harps on is the word world. Right. Is world in the concept always looked at as the entire earth? No. It's not. So then how can we say that in this context it's talking about the whole world, but then dif differentiate it from another context that is not talking about it like that? I'm not, we, we know that. I'm, saying, I'm asking you a direct question though, brother. How can you di differentiate that now it's talking about everybody in the world when we just...
that joint's great. Yeah, but how good. how that how can we sit here? He read it from verse one. Right. This you can't get no more in context than reading it from the top of the chapter. <coughs> so how can he read it from verse one all the way down? Like you said, he I want you to read it five verses he up. Read it, he read it great. Hold on. Yeah, he, 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 you you he read John read 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 you read John three sixteen at verse sixteen and you said I either want you to read more up or more down to get the context of a scripture. The brother did you a favor and started at verse one. That's fifteen verses up and then gave you the context of what's happening in verse sixteen. It's two Jews having a conversation about the nation of Israel. It's in reference to Moses when he was in the wilderness with the Israelites that everybody that lived was bitten by the serpent, Christ has to be lifted up for that same reason for what? For those same people. Right. So now when it's talking about the world, we can't sit here and say all of a sudden, now this world is everybody when the context of the whole chapter is about Israel. Right. So when Jesus is talking about the Gentiles, right? No, no, no. This. Stay here. What is this talking about? I love the conversation. I love the I love the conversation. I, I wish I was bro. You gotta be real. I, I wish I could come back. Right. I, I'm not, I'm not the mom. That's cool. I I when come we back come back, I hope you come you, well equipped. Let's to talk with you guys. You know, so get a better understanding of how you perceive things, bro, because it is a. You guys are clear and precise, bro, of, of your vision. And I understand what you guys are saying, but my belief and my vision of how God wants me to be, how I think that God wants me to be, is different. You know what I'm saying? So. So, well, listen, listen, at I the end it. of the day, I man's going to the Lord. Right. So you got an opportunity, multiple. The Lord said in, in Job, I believe the 33rd chapter, he said, Lord speak to one, yet it's twice, twice. Yeah, man received enough. Right. You got your, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm about, 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 i and keep the commandments. But this is the thing, right? As a human being, right? that's what Christ came to the world. Right? Wait, did, did, doesn't Philippians 4 13 say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me? Through Christ, right? Through Christ that strengthens me. Right. So why can't you keep the commandments? You only can keep the commandments, but the commandments is really not that difficult. So you got, so you got because you hold on, hold on, hold on. Because hold on. you got to believe in God in order to have the strength to keep the commandments that God wants you to keep. So you don't have no faith or strength in God? No, I always have faith and strength so in God. So then why don't you keep the commandments? I'll do keep the family. How what, as I, best as I could as you, a human being. What's that? Was well, this close? Yes. You bought that today? Well, today? today? Um, you bought it? Yeah, today? Yes, yeah, sir. You know it's a violation of the commandments. Well, actually, this is how? How? Okay. No, this is one other day, brother. I really gotta go, you gotta bro. Grow your yeah, parents, bro. bro. Thank you, bro. Oh, Thank you, bro. Come on, brother. You gotta Thank go. you, bro. I really gotta, gotta go. Repent, bro. Brother. You gotta repent, brother. But you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get. Brother, you gotta listen to your cousin. Yeah. Go, go, go! Have a conversation with your cousin. I gotta go to Kissing Me, Florida, bro. That's you know, that one. You can you, call him on the phone. Hell, we don't got cell phones. Yeah, we got, we got hey, if you need a phone. Wow. Bro, God bless you guys, bro. With you guys, bro. I hope that you guys. Yo, yo, the brother, people, there's, there's a flyer in your bag. There's a flyer in your bag. A flyer. Scan the QR code. And that's the QR code. No, just give me the flyer. I'll read the flyer. It's in your bag. I'll, I'll read it. Right there. I would have read it. You guys could have just gave me whatever literature you want. We like, just did. I read. Like, no, you could have handed it to me. I would have read it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's in there. No, bro, I, I don't. Listen, listen, I read listen, everything. Listen, just scan the QR code and go watch the videos. Yo, I, I, I would do that. I would do that if there's any reviews or anything like that that, I, Brother, that you guys got. Just, just, Look at those I will, and bro. talk to I, your cousin. Bro, I'll give you my word, I will read it. All right, and talk to your cousin. I will do that tonight, Because this is serious. I will do that tonight. All right, brother. All right, all right. All right. Get, get home safe, brother. Wow. What's going on over here? That's in the open end. Then we talk to this guy. We talk to you, people. Give me that, give me that, bro. And give me... Brother, you gonna repent this time, brother? Come on, man. Make this question. Give me an answer. Oh, you gonna dap me, though? Seriously. Ain't this considered a dap? Ain't that a dap, too? Exactly. All right, brother, we, so this brother's talked to you before. He called me on my phone and anything, man. Who, him? Oh, I don't remember that. I was calling him on that. Marlon. Marlon. That ain't me. Bro. That's you? You, Marlon? What's his name? When he called you, he said, this is brother who? I forget his name, but uh, he keep on me on the phone. Man. 
Listen, the brother talked to you. What did he tell you? Listen, you talking about this. Hey, damn, can watch this one. What are you all talking about? What did he tell you? The 12 tribes of Israel. All right, and, 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 and do you descend from these 12 tribes, brother? You know it. Come on, man. I got to ask the right question, brother. So you are descended from the 12 tribes of Israel, and this brother talked to you, so I know he told you what you have to do as an Israelite. And what's that? But why you play? I never called you on the phone. But we have talked to you out here 10 times at least. And I know a few times you was in the drugs and whatnot, but you gotta repent. What? You gotta repent. I you know I was in the drugs and all that. We talked to you before, brother. Yeah, was you in the drugs? Was, was you or are you in the drugs? No. You was never in the drugs. No. So he's a liar. You can't what? I can't believe y'all gonna sit up here and say all this. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a band. We not up here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even trying to play 